Hi guys, Steve here from Seamotion. I hope you're all safe and well and looking forward to getting back on set if you haven't done so already. Now following the latest 4.0 software release for Seapro, I wanted to show you some of the new exciting features. Now the feature I'm going to demonstrate here with the Alexa Mini is the lens data license handling. Now this will allow you to share the lens data you've created on your Seapro hand unit with ARRI, RED and Sony cameras, but it also makes it possible to send LDS and iData lens data from the ARRI cameras direct to your Seapro hand unit. Now before we start we'll just go around and have a look onto the viewfinder. So this will just show you that we don't have any lens data displayed currently. So I'm current and I'm using the uh, the Leica Sumilux C so I've got a 40mm lens here and what we need to do is close the network so we need to use the Elbus lens mount although this doesn't need to be active to send the data to the camera. So we simply connect our Elbus cable into the uh, iris motor and the second connector into the camera. Now you'll notice that it will start flashing orange on both the Seaforce Mini and the Seapro motor asking to be calibrated. Now this is an ARRI feature where you can either use the pre-assigned calibration or the previous calibration or you can calibrate again but we will need to calibrate these motors to get the correct lens data. But first off we go to the hand unit so this is flashing quite bright telling me that calibration is requested. Yes we know but what I need to do is go into the lens menu and at the bottom we have the new feature which is sync cam data. Now I need to activate this and turn this on. Once this is on, I can then go back to my lens because I don't currently have a lens loaded and I'm going to select the Sumilux. Now, you'll notice there in yellow, this is a new favourites feature. So if you're doing a project with a few lenses and you've got quite a few on your hand unit, you can select favourites. So it makes it much quicker and easier to find them. So let me load the lens. So now this lens is loaded and we have the cam sync data on. What we need to do now is calibrate the motors. Now I've assigned the back button to calibrate all so I can simply press and hold this button here. This will trigger the auto calibration and as with all C-Motion systems it will do a mechanical tap and then a digital count so that you know that your lens data and lens mapping is accurate. So my iris is there complete, my focus is just finishing. So once this is done we have our lens information displayed on our C-Pro hand unit so we can now go through and have our focus scale and our iris scale and the lens name. So we've got our information here. And then if we come round to the viewfinder again, you'll notice that the lens information is now being displayed on the viewfinder. So this will also be displayed on monitors, uh, depending on your settings for monitoring out, but will be recorded with the image so you have all of the lens data for post-production. I hope this has helped guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us uh, through Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, or the Seamotion sales at cmotion.eu email. Thanks.